Good morning, students. Welcome to English 7, online English lessons for schools. My name is Kristina Yevgenyevna, and I will be your teacher today. We finish working with Unit 3, Friendship. Our lesson is called The Story of Friendship. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to read and understand literature. Where can you meet or find your best friend? Look at the advertisement below. What is it advertising? Adopting a dog. Moel. Adjective. Staying true to a friend or something. Answer the questions below. What quality of a BF does the advertisement mention? What other qualities make dogs people's best friends? What does loyal mean? What do loyal people, friends or dogs do? Ability to listen. Dogs are loyal. Faithful, they always stand by your side. What do you know about Japan? What do you think is a favorite pet in Japan? Dogs and cats, same as everywhere else in the world. Dogs as everywhere, but the popular breeds are very different. Goldfish. Japanese culture is very mysterious. Dogs as everywhere. But the popular breeds are very different. Look at the picture of a statue in Tokyo. Can you guess why people put up a statue to a dog? Make a list of questions to ask a city guide about this statue. Read an excerpt from Hashiko, The True Story of a Loyal Dog, written by Pamela S. Turner, and say what information we can find about the dog. There is a statue of my old friend at the entrance to Shibuya Station. His bronze feet are bright and shiny, polished by thousands of friendly hands. There is a sign that says simply, Loyal Dog Hashiko. I close my eyes and remember the day we met. So long ago. When I was six years old, my family moved to a little house in Tokyo, near the Shibuya train station. At first, the trains frightened me. But after a while, I grew to enjoy their power and the furious noises they made. One day I begged Mama to take me to meet Papa as he came home on the afternoon train. She laughed and said, Kintaro, you have become big and brave. 
just like a samurai. Together we walked to the station. It was spring and the day was clear and cold. There were tiny carts all around the station, selling snacks, newspapers, and hundreds of other things to the crowds of people rushing by. Ladies in kimonos uh, walked carefully, trying to keep their white tabby socks away from the crime of the streets. Businessmen strolled about, hurrying home or to catch another train. Mama and I had stopped near the station entrance when I noticed the dog. He was sitting quietly, all alone, by a newspaper stand. He had thick, cream-colored fur, small pointed ears, and a broad, bushy tail that curved up over his back. I wondered if the dog was a stray, but he was wearing a nice leather harness and looked healthy and strong. His brown eyes were fixed on the station entrance. Just then, Papa appeared. He was chatting with an older man. The dog bounded over to the man, his entire body wiggling and quivering with delight. His eyes shone and his mouth curled up into something that looked to me just like a smile. Ah, Kintaro, you see, Dr. Weno, you are not the only one who has someone to welcome him, said the power. He introduced us to the older man. Dr. Weno works with me at Tokyo Imperial University. What is your dog's name? I asked timidly. The dog was beautiful, but his sharp face reminded me of a wolf's. I grabbed Mama's kimono and stepped behind her, just in case. Has the story answered any of your questions to the city guide? The pictures below show some of the most popular dog breeds in Japan. Read the description of the dog again. Which breed was Hashiko? He had thick, cream-colored fur, small pointed ears, and a broad, bushy tail that curved up over his back. I wondered if the dog was a stray, but he was wearing a nice leather harness and looked healthy and strong. His brown eyes were fixed on the station entrance. So. Was it Chin, Akita, Pomeranian, or Chihuahua? Hashiko was Akita. Read the excerpt again and answer the questions below. Who's telling the story? Is he a brave person? How do you know? What elements of Japanese culture are pictured in the text? What was the dogs doing when the boy first saw it? How did it behave when his owner came? Why? What do you know about the dog's owner? 
Why are the bronze feet of the dog bright and shiny? Kintaro, not very brave. He was afraid of trains. He grabbed Mama's kimono and stepped behind her when he saw the dog. Mama compared the boy to a samurai. Ladies in kimonos walked carefully, trying to keep their white toppy socks away from the grime of the streets. The dog was sitting near the newspaper stand. His eyes were fixed on the station entrance. The dog bounded over to the man, his entire body wiggling and quivering with delight. His eyes shone and his mouth curled up into something that looked just like a smile. Dr. Reno was the owner of the dog. He worked at Tokyo Imperial University. They are polished by thousands of friendly hands. Can you guess what happened next in the story? Would you like to read the whole story? Follow the link to listen to the whole story. Our today's lesson is finished. Thank you for attention.